when you open the Astro case, you'll notice that on top of the aircraft, there's a QR code. That QR code links to the wiki, which has a quick start guide. And we're going to do those steps, the quick start steps. We'll do them right now. The second thing you'll notice is that on top of the controller, there's a big yellow sticker that says you need to know how to fly manual mode to fly Astro. If you don't know how to fly manual mode, that's fine. I've made some training videos to show you how it works, how it works in particular with Astro, and I'll help you get comfortable. The link to that is either up above or down below. You need to know manual mode because for Astro, some of the emergency procedures require it. For example, if you're sitting on the ground and the landing detector fails to shut down the props, you'll need to perform a manual override to shut them down. That's why we need manual mode. The first thing you'll need to do is charge up your batteries. The here link charging port is this USB right here. The flight battery chargers live underneath this tray, right down there. While the batteries are charging, you can get signed up for the Aterian suite. If you sign up right now, then after your first flight, the data from that flight will be uploaded automatically, and it'll be waiting for you there to check out. We'll follow the steps on the quick checklist to get flying. Booms and legs, unfold and lock. Astro fits in the hard case with the legs extended, so I'll just pull on them and check to make sure that they're fully locked. I like to open the booms two at a time to keep the aircraft balanced. Open them all the way, and then you'll see that each boom has a latch like this. Just push them in. They'll make a nice click when they're latched in place, and you can check by applying some force. And then you can remove the prop protectors like this, and unfold the props. Props and motors, check for free rotation. So just spin the motor and make sure that it spins nicely. You can apply a little downward force, or upward force, and check that the bearings feel good. The propeller blades should spin smoothly and freely. There shouldn't be any vertical play. No payload on this flight. So let's go power up the controller. Press and hold for a few seconds. Slide up and open the AMC app. Batteries. Latch and activate. Latch the batteries by sliding them all the way forward. You'll hear two clicks. Check to make sure the latches are all the way down. Press once to check the battery level and again to activate. Activating one battery automatically activates the other. Last item on the checklist, return mode, set altitude. Go to vehicle setup, we'll go to safety, we'll scroll, return to launch settings. For my flying field, an altitude of 40 is good, but key in the altitude that's right for you. Some altitude that will get you uh, over the trees. Back to the fly screen. Make sure the vehicle is ready to fly. It should be green. Make sure we're in position mode. If we're not in position mode, just touch the mode buttons here to switch mode. Altitude flight mode. Position flight mode. You'll notice it announces the mode verbally. It'll also announce warnings. So make sure that in the settings, the sound volume is at maximum. I also run the display at maximum. Now we're ready to take off. We'll arm by bringing the throttle stick down and right. Arm. When the propellers are spinning, bring the throttle up. And right away, before we go anywhere, let's practice a landing. We'll land by bringing the throttle all the way down and holding it there until the aircraft disarms. Here we go. Disarmed. The props have stopped. Great. Now we'll take off and we'll give some small inputs with both of the sticks to make sure the aircraft is doing what we think it should be doing before we start flying. Arm. 
props are spinning. Bring up the throttle. And before we begin flying, we'll give some small inputs. Whoa. So the aircraft is backwards. I set it up that way to demonstrate this to you. So we'll just spin it around. So the nose is facing away from us. And now left is left, right is right, left is left, right is right. Let's start flying. When you land, Astro, bring it to a stop a few meters above the ground and then land by pulling straight down on the throttle. Hold the throttle down until the props stop. When you're done flying, you can just pop the battery latches like this and pull them out. They'll automatically shut down. And then you can fold up the props like this and install the prop protectors. Uh, pro tip, slide the prop protector all the way to the aluminum uh, motor and ESC housing. Then it will line up with the notches in the case. Then you can pop the latches like this and fold up the booms. The batteries go in with the display facing forward like this. That lets you check all your batteries real quick without taking them out. Astro goes in, the diagram shows, with the GPS antenna facing forward. And that's it. The data from your aircraft will have automatically uploaded to the Aterian suite. So we can go there and check it out. It's suite.aterian.com. And here we are. So this is the free fly test fleet. Uh, there's a bunch of vehicles in here and you'll see that we're getting a lot more warnings than you'll get because we're doing a lot of testing. Here's our vehicle right here. We can see bunch of flights. You can see I've been doing a bunch of testing. But here's a flight. So we can see a map uh, where it was. We can see some stats about it. We can write a note if we want to. And we can see analysis of the flight log file. If there are any errors or warnings, those will be detailed here. So you can see there are a bunch of detailed plots here that will help you diagnose any problems you might have. If you'd like to share a flight log with FreeFly support, Maybe you have a question with that particular flight. Just click this toggle. You can write us a message to let us know what's going on. And then we'll be able to see that flight and talk about it with you. When the problem's fixed and you're ready to stop sharing, uncheck this toggle, and then the flight's private again.